You're going to have to learn takedowns. There's no way around it. You're going to have to have at least some familiarity to one, two, maybe three takedowns. You probably want to know a dozen. That's, that's what I believe. I'm showing here the grappler's guide. And the way I learned takedowns is I just looked at them over and over again. Uh, to be honest, I actually knew a couple. I did high school wrestling, but I wasn't very good at takedowns. If you're a beginner and you're trying to learn takedowns, the way I would recommend it is stare at, at a video like this where you almost memorize them visually until you learn them physically. And you watch them over and over again and find some that will fit your body style, your attack style. Don't just pull guard, experiment. And what you'll notice is the concepts for takedowns also are related to the guard strategies. When you're down low on your butt, scooting around, some of the concepts like arm drag also works in guard as it does standing. So it's connected. A lot of a lot of the concepts that work, like arm drag or two on one or trapping an arm, they're already related to guard. So you may as well find them and use them. I over time developed like a sequence. Depending on what the opponent did with their leg, the way they set up their legs or if one arm was on me or not, it would open up a sequence that I already had pre-planned. And that's really all I do. I just do three or four takedowns depending on which, what limb is offered to me. It could, it could be an ankle pick. I really love ankle pick. I can spam an, an, an ankle pick or an ankle sweep. I just spam it. It's low risk. And if I screw it up, I know what I'm going to do to defend or, or uh, protect myself. And I think that's, that's what makes you comfortable with takedowns. Having a few takedowns that you know you can pull off if your opening is there. And also, whatever the consequence of a failed attempt, being comfortable enough that you can recover from it. Uh, blast doubles, for example, like where you just blast and try to take them down, it might get you guillotined. So you may not want to fire them off. If, if the guy is a really good wrestler, maybe you don't want to shoot because you know he's going to have a really good sprawl. These are the things you're going to want to think about when you're learning your takedowns and also when you're with an opponent, which ones you're going to fire off. Which ones are going to be your highest probability takedowns. So keep that in mind when you're shopping for takedowns. But here they're doing it in the gi. And there's some different setups in the gi or no gi. That's a good one right there. The uh, the drop takedown. Also, if the opponent is very good at takedowns, if he's a wrestler and he's just going to dominate you standing... You're going to want to have an offensive guard pull. Sometimes takedowns isn't the answer to get the fight to the ground. An offensive guard pull might be the way to go. Definitely you want to work on your takedowns. But you also want to have... Like if you go against a judo player, especially in the gi, you know he's going to throw you around and hit you with the, hit you with the world. Right? Hit you with the earth. So you may as well hit him with a x guard pull for example or or some form of a tomonage where you throw you sacrifice and throw them over that's another part of the strategy have an aggressive guard pull but don't just sit and then stall like like sit and then try to sweep right away that's an, an offensive guard pull that would be a total package learn learn the hand fight so you can open up your opportunities learn at least four takedowns for each limb, one for each limb. Have those figured out. 
and then also have an offensive guard pull so that if you know he's stronger and you have a low chance of taking him down, at least you can pull him into something where you can sweep right away, an offensive guard pull. Those are my best tips. That's what I have for you right now. If you agree or disagree or if you're you're using any of this, let me know in the comments and, and uh, we'll have a chat. Cheers.